so in this week we will be trying to understand the significance of the practices that we have been doing so that we are able to practice them with greater clarity and then the results will also be better the idea is not to have just an intellectual discussion on it because intellectual discussion does not help in any way we have been practicing kayas theriyam suppose you are sitting in a meditative posture and somebody spreads some ants around you and the ants start crawling up and as per their nature they start biting at different places you know you have to practice kaya sthairyam steadiness of the body but tell me how long will you be able to maintain that st- steadiness honestly after knowing the answer coming swami ji split second swami ji split second yes yes why because there is something which is more powerful than the intellect we know we need to maintain that posture but there are other mechanisms within our being which create instructions stronger than the intellect our aim is to try and connect to these stronger impulses and to modulate and modify them our aim is not just to have an intellectual discussion and therefore yesterday we started the top topic with discussing the what is the main important point why we practice all of these spiritual practices and many of you spoke very truly came quite close to the point basic idea is mind management because the mind is that interface mind is that interface which is the bridge between the inner world and the external world depending on the state of the mind we are able to perceive the external world and again depending on the state of the mind we are able to respond to the external world what has to be the response is decided by the central processing unit inside we receive the input we give an output and there is a processing which takes place each and every aspect of this three activities is deeply influenced by the mind and therefore yoga believes in refining the mind and therefore it is a science of mind management we have been practicing kaya sthairyam for some time and i want you to quickly give me what has been your experience as regards to the mind when we have been practicing kaya sthairyam the mind gets uh, calmer and uh, it uh, it uh, becomes still still okay anybody else now many thoughts start coming as when we practice kaya sthairyam okay 
लक्ष्मीकांत जी यू वॉन्टेड टू से समथिंग माइंड बिकम्स काम वन रिस्पॉन्स से माइंड स्टार्ट जम्पिंग इवन मोर while i am during doing activities in the day my mind is quiet and calm and composed but the moment i sit down and say that i want to do kaya sthairyam steadiness of the body immediately the mind starts playing up and there is a third response which says that this happens in the beginning and then slowly the mind settles does anybody have any fourth experience you will be uh, in your original state of being nahi nahi we 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 see we are we are talking of our experiences okay. not of uh, highly established masters so no theory all practical experiences here these are the only three possible things the mind can either be quiet mind can either be agitated or mind can be a little bit balanced slightly uh, it, it becomes quieter sometimes it becomes this it can be in mid- between there's no th- fourth state for us for us going beyond is not a practical reality as yet another thing another thing. as we see for kaya sthara slowly slowly the mostly and mainly the lower part of legs mm-hmm. heavy they But become heavy mm. and they become badirness whatever you mm. Mm. say mm. and slow even though the mind said let it be try to be steady mm-hmm. so that can bring the bearing capacity of our own thing i agree i agree but we we were discussing about the state of the mind so uh, you know the mind can either be calm and quiet the mind can be agitated it can be agitated due to physical causes or mental causes but it is agitated and then sometimes it is quiet sometimes it is slightly agitated and moves it from one to the other oscillates and then slowly goes in one side so now here we have to understand why is it that kaya sthairyam is important because as you said rightly that when you sit down after some time there are discomfort signals which start coming to you from the body and when the discomfort signals come up then what happens our mind resists the instinct of shifting around as was said that the legs start getting heavy or there is some tingling numbness which starts coming in your feet the first instinct is let me just move around and shift but here we resist that impulse there is a sensation of scratching which comes and you scratch your shoulders and your arms and different parts of the body and you will observe that many times when you close your eyes one sense suddenly starts getting overactive either it is the sense of itchiness you have eating here and there and there and there and different places some days the touch sensation will not be overactive the thoughts will be overactive some days the pain in the body will be overactive this indicates 
all of these are being stimulated by the mind to give out signals depending on the state of being at that point of time whatever is easier to disturb us is being put out depending on where our vulnerability is and we are consciously trying to resist that and that is what we have to try and keep aware about whenever you are sitting we are focusing on the body if there are too many thoughts which come up then at that point of time we have to say okay we'll discuss with you later now let me focus on maintaining the body steady the mind is trying to distract us take us away from the objective we want or we have set for ourselves and we have to gradually train the mind to fall in line with our objectives that is the process which we are trying to do when you maintain that posture for some period of time then the body mechanisms over a long period start shifting and adjusting so that the discomfort in the body reduces of course we have to be very uh, clear about common sense if we have got an existing knee problem or a back problem which is an existing knee problem back problem wherein uh, there is damage to the tissue which has taken place then we need to take proper guidance expert guidance what should we be doing how long should we be doing so that type of common sense we are not trying to uh, bypass but within the range of that common sense we need to maintain that posture and when we maintain that posture there is the impulse which comes to shift out from the steady posture and that shift out could be because i hear something and i suddenly look around there or there is a sense of scratching or there is discomfort in the legs or shoulders or suddenly i feel oh it's so cold let me just cover myself many different thoughts might stimulate us to break the steadiness of the body which we have decided and you will observe that during the day these thoughts will not come to you only when you sit down these thoughts start coming up don't be surprised don't be disheartened this is a very good sign it means that the mind has got engaged with us if the mind is not engaged with us we will never be able to modify the mind now the mind has engaged with us and mind is trying to exert its influence on us and we have to slowly learn how to exert our influence on the mind actually there is no difference between us and the mind we are the same but one part of our being and another part of our being they are having mutually contradictory signals and we have to decide which part our will power will take up at the moment we have decided kaya sthirya and in kaya sthiryam you resist the desire to move and when you do that then you will observe that the intensity of that in impulse let us say it is the pain in the legs you are sitting quietly mind is quiet and calm and you are aware the body is steady awareness on that <clears throat> and then the pain starts and it increases and increases and increases and increases there is a strong impulse which is being put in the ampli the you know that pain gets amplified or if there is a desire to scratch that keeps on getting amplified and amplified and amplified until and unless you don't do this now we have to resist this 
we need to become aware there is the sensation of scratching which is coming and there is a desire to move the hand two different impulses which the indisciplined mind is pushing our body to respond to and i have decided that i will not give in for next 10 minutes i will sit steady it is not that i am not going to scratch at all but for 10 minutes there is no harm in letting that sensation stay for 10 minutes and this tussel will go on you have to become aware of this tussel and when you become aware of this tussel and still you decide no i will be steady i will be steady i will be steady you are reinforcing steadiness and then you will see suddenly after some time that impulse just goes away disappears fades away and something else will come up sometimes it is not immediate it can take place at different gaps there will be a steadiness in the mind sometimes so we have to try and remain aware of this because when we are aware of it we are reinforcing to the mind that no i will be steady now none of those impulses have any significance at this point of time my desire to sit steady is prime so the ichha is shifting from ichha to ichha shakti will power we say i have got a very weak will power i don't know how can i change it this is the way kaya stheriam is not a preliminary practice it is a foundational practice if this foundation is not proper the building which is uh, raised is going to come down collapsing like a pack of cards sometime or the other so therefore it is very essential to maintain kaya stheriam and practice it for a long period of time because when we practice kaya stheriam you will observe that automatically the practice of pratyahar comes in because you are aware of the senses when you are saying i want to be steady and the mind is pushing our senses to do something or the other mind is pushing but who is actually doing it it is the senses either receiving or actions it is the senses which do it you are slowly managing the senses and when you manage the senses over a period of time when you have greater control over the senses then pratyahar will start happening otherwise pratyahar is not going to take place pratyahar will just be a intellectual concept that yes we have to withdraw the mind just like the tortoise withdraws the head and the limbs and the tail in the same way we have to withdraw it but when we sit down to practice everything goes for a toss no start with kaya stheriam practice kaya stheriam and you will see the better you practice kaya stheriam after some time suddenly there will be periods where the mind just goes calm remain aware at that point of time yes we are making a shift a change but remain aware because the journey has just begun not completed that is important and when we are able to do this then our journey of mind management begins and how do we utilize mind management to achieve the goals that is again something which we have to understand and we will speak about it tomorrow originally the idea in yog is that you withdraw the mind and direct it upwards towards the transcendental reality but we are too far away from that so we need some goal which is closer to us we need something which will allow us to move upwards but is still in our reach when i am in class 1 if i am told that you have to work with the doctorate degree and doctorate thesis 
what is going to be your thesis when you are going to do your doctorate i have absolutely no idea what that means but for me if i am told what is your goal how do you want to uh, pass your class one exams final exams that is something which i can comprehend so for us what is it that we can comprehend mind management so that we can achieve the goals in our lives mind management so that we can enhance the creativity in our life mind management so that we can upgrade our skills in our life that is what we need to understand and we will discuss more on this topic tomorrow hariyo sat namo narayan jai ho namo narayan